One of the best ways to test your permission is actually the ability to run as a different user. Right now, when I click on my Rotor client here, it launches uh, as me as a user down here, and I can see uh, I'm the user here down here. It is possible to actually, if you hold down Shift and right click up here, you actually get the option to run as a different user if you're an administrator. Then you can go in and select another user and put in the password for that user I train here. And you will now be able to go in and launch the Rotor client running as that user, even directly from your own. Same as the ability in the classic client also, where you can launch as a different user. And if I look at it here, there's a lot of permissions that this user don't has because right now they only have permission to actually uh, use the role or create a sales order and to log into NAV actually. So let's go here and uh, close that one down again and actually go in and change my role group in here because Diana that I have in here is the same as John and uh, if I look at John's access controls, he's using the group sales in here. So let's go add some extra permissions in that role group sales in here because right now there's actually no role center in here. Uh, or I have the role order processor role center in here, but I, that actually don't has a recording for it yet that I click on all menu items. Instead, with the clan role, there's a, a role center created or a role center recording down here for the order processor. So I'm going to add that one in here. And just adding this one and then uh, do a publish. I should be able to do uh, everything I actually need to. So let's go back to the role center, uh, go in and um, publish permissions. Oh, that's the first one up here. And uh, change group, I'll just give it a comment here. And I do the publish of permissions in here. So it recalculates everything and as I do that one, if I had new source code analysis, it would of course add that one to it also in here. So, uh, now it's the last step of writing the restore point uh, to the live system in here. So, so if I now go uh, launch this one as uh, Diana, I now have permission uh, for the role center that allows me to open all these ones. If I go in here to sales invoices and click new, uh, I can get here because of uh, some of the permissions that I recorded. But uh, if I go, I think, to the item card, uh, I guess that also gave me that permission in there. Um, but really it's like you should not be able to get to the card just because you have permission to the role center actually in here. Um, that's another permission to get to the task for that one. So uh, that's how you can use uh, to run this one as a different user. And of course I could do the same for the classic client where I will run this one. And I'll run this one as Diana. And I now have, this one have never been connected so of course I will have to uh, connect to a database, demo database in here. And uh, I now have access uh, to those companies uh, I need in here. So I can go look at uh, my sales orders and take that one. But as you saw, Diana don't have access to the easy security company. So that's limited permissions in here in that database. So, And again, down here it say that I'm running as Diana right now.